Hey there, it's Nick, your healthy weight loss coach. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to quickly go over the seven fatty foods that are going to help melt stubborn fat off your body. Yeah, believe it or not, you're going to eat foods that are super high in fat content to melt fat off your body. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but believe it or not, while most people are scared of fat, you, because of the knowledge you're going to uh, have today, are going to be eating more fatty foods and dropping and shedding weight where your friends are going to be wondering what the heck is going on. Do you have some type of superpower where you can eat unlimited amounts of fat and lose weight? And you're going to say yes because of the, the awesomeness, the awesome nutrition in the fatty foods I'm going to go over today. Food number one, avocado. Now this one might not surprise you because avocado is pretty much one of those that experts agree have awesome uh, monounsaturated fats and uh, they help keep you full longer because of the fiber content and so an avocado is a really good option for increasing the amount of fat in your diet. And why do we need fat in the diet? Believe it or not, the brain is run primarily on fat and cholesterol and so when we eat fat we help our brain function more effectively which will help you make better choices indirectly but besides that we need lots of good quality fat in our, in our diet to help regulate our hormones. If you avoid fatty foods, if you're eating fat free, your thyroid is going to slow down, your metabolism is going to be very inefficient, and you're going to make your fat cells very happy. We're going to outsmart your fat cells with fatty foods. Number two is grass-fed butter. Grass-fed butter, making sure that you get an organic butter, no, hormo no hormones or antibiotics, so coming from cows that are treated well and fed, uh, not fed genetically modified foods like soy and gluten, gluten containing grains and corn, that type of stuff. So you want to get grass fed butter, you're getting an, a good amount of saturated fat in this butter which is great for uh, protecting your cells and uh, helping boost your thyroid. You're getting uh, CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, which is awesome for muscle, lean muscle building, muscle recovery as well as helping just help fuel your metabolic processes. So grass-fed butter is awesome to cook with as well because it's a very stable fat. So let's go to number three, olive oil. Olive oil's composition is very similar to an avocado. You're having lots of monounsaturated fatty acids. So, so far our theme is saturated fat and monounsaturated fat. In this video, you're not going to see a lot of polyunsaturated fat which I believe to be the least stable fat. That's not a belief, that's a scientific fact. And so when you have very unstable fats, they oxidize and they become rancid very easily, especially with cooking. I'm going to give you in a second the best oil to cook with. And it's not anything unsaturated. So olive oil, monounsaturated fats, there's lots of good polyphenols in there as well, just like these plant compounds that uh, have been shown to be, be anti-carcinogenic to fight, fight cancer. Uh, olive oil you don't want to cook a ton with, so you don't want to heat it up because it is, while it is more stable than like canola oil or soybean oil, uh, keep olive oil for just like sprinkling on vegetables, sprinkle on your salads, make salad dressing, that type of stuff. Number four, grass-fed beef, very similar composition to grass-fed butter. It's not, obviously there's no dairy in grass-fed beef though. You want to Get the grass-fed variety, avoid conventional beef. Conventional beef is the beef that they use to, that is used in all these studies that have shown negative effects of meat. Never have they studied the grass-fed beef versus grain-fed grain or genetically modified conventional beef. And I guarantee you if they did, they would find that meat isn't as inflammatory as you think. Not only that, when they study these, the meat, they're also they're not taking into consideration the fact that uh, people are also eating uh, the grain-fed beef along with lots of processed oils, gluten, that type of stuff. Grass-fed beef, the, one of the best protein sources as well as lots of CLA just like the butter. Number five, the best oil to eat and to cook with is coconut oil. Coconut oil is loaded with something called lauric acid. It's a medium chain triglyceride, meaning it is metabolized different in the body. MCT has become kind of a buzzword with, uh, for good reason. It is the, the, most, the least inflammatory fat of all. In fact, it helps counter the inflammation caused by uh, 
fats that do cause inflammation like canola oil, soybean oil, uh, trans fat, that type of stuff. So coconut oil is loaded with saturated fat, which is the healthiest fat that you could be eating if you are interested in losing weight, which you might be. And number six, macadamia nuts. Um, you can also add like almonds, cashews, those type of nuts. I like macadamia nuts because they're the highest in monounsaturated and the lowest in polyunsaturated. And last but not least, you can thank me for this one, dark chocolate. I don't know why chocolate is so villainized in our uh, nutrition community because it's loaded with awesome saturated fats, specifically stearic acid, which is similar to lauric acid in coconut oil. Um, dark chocolate is also super high in magnesium, which uh, since we live in such a stressful society, magnesium, our, our needs for magnesium have increased. So eating dark chocolate will help you get magnesium as well as provide you with awesome saturated fat, just like coconut oil, uh, butter, and grass-fed beef do. So those are the seven fatty foods that are gonna help you melt stubborn fat off your body. If you have any questions, uh, comment below this video and I'll reply as soon as I can. I'd love for you to have access to my free video training series, How to Outsmart Your Fat Cells to unleash the power of your female metabolism. In the first video, I go over seven key differences between a fat storing body and a fat burning body. You don't wanna miss this video. Click the link to sign up for the free video training series. I'll also give you free exercise videos, free uh, meal plans, and lots of other cool stuff that you don't wanna miss. Click the link, sign up for the video training series, and I'll see you inside. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you not only learned something, but you committed to take action on what you learned. Here's what I want you to do next. I want you to click that link above and that'll give you access to my free healthy fat loss video training course where you'll not only get metabolic healthy fat loss meal plans, you'll also receive personal trainer guided metabolic workouts that are going to help you build lean muscle, and burn excess fat off your body. But more importantly, you're going to learn how to outsmart your fat cells without restrictive diets and long hours at the gym. All you have to do now is click that link above to start watching your first video. I'll see you soon.